We've done plenty of Centennials on this show before, Winchester Centennials like the Model 1876, but this Winchester Model 1873 is a Centennial edition as well, and it celebrates 100 years of the Buffalo Bill Center of the West. The Buffalo Bill Center teamed up with Winchester and Navy Arms to produce this edition that of course profits of which benefit the Buffalo Bill Center. It's an 1873 Winchester. This is a genuine Winchester, but it's made by Maruku, who really has some of the finest metalworking operations in the world. Doug Turnbull from Doug Turnbull Restorations did the case coloring on the receiver and of course on the trigger, the butt plate, and the side cover. This is really beautiful, genuine color case hardening. And you can just look at these rich colors that come through. Doug Turnbull and his guys really know what they're doing. Now another partner had to get involved with this, and that is Baron Technologies. Baron did the engraving on this gun, and if you look very closely at the side plate, you'll see this is Gertrude Vanderbilt Whitney's The Scout, which is a huge bronze depiction of Buffalo Bill mounted on a horse that sits outside of the Cody Center. Then the rest of the engraving is, is a scroll reminiscent of that of Herman Ulrich. And you flip this over, and of course the Buffalo Bill Center's in Wyoming. So what else would you rather have than a Wyoming buffalo depicted on the left side cover? Now this gun has a beautifully blued barrel, a little bit of engraving there, and then you get up towards the muzzle and you'll see that there's a little band of silver there, as well as some additional engraving. There is more ornamentation on this gun. You'll see that it says Centennial Edition on the top of the barrel, right where it joins the receiver. Your action cover is engraved, and you flip it over and look underneath, and here is your breech block, and it says Cal 4440 Winchester. This is in 4440. I know everybody likes 45 Colt these days, but Winchester didn't chamber it back in the day. So when it comes to the wood on this gun, this is grade one walnut and it's stained in a color authentic to Winchester, and it also has checkering that matches the original checkering pattern on the 1873 on both the forend and, of course, on the straight wrist of the stock. In terms of operation, this is straight Winchester 1873. It has, of course, King's patented improved loading gate. Work the action, pull the trigger, no problem. It's actually a very smooth action. Some of the replica 73s, yeah, you don't necessarily get that, but when you work this lever, smooth as silk. Really a nice gun. Now Winchester brought back the 1873 after the plant in New Haven, Connecticut closed down. They chose Maruku. Again, Maruku does some of the best metal work in the world. They've recreated a number of vintage Brownings and Winchesters. And this particular gun has a 24 inch octagonal barrel and really, it is well done. All of the bluing inside the gun, the polished brass of the lifter, this is really a well-executed gun. You have a drift adjustable for windage front sight out here towards the muzzle, and of course you have a semi-buckhorn rear with a ladder elevation system, so that if you want to shoot this gun, go right ahead. This gun is not inexpensive at about $3,500, but what this gun does is really pay tribute to an American national treasure. And that, of course, is the Buffalo Bill Center. If you get a chance, you need to go and see that Winchester collection. For more reviews of firearms and shooting gear, check out the latest edition of American Rifleman the magazine.